Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Beginner to Expert and this is part 11 Angular 7 tutorial. Okay, today I will discuss about the HTTP interceptor. So before proceed to write the code about the interceptor, so we should get to know what is interceptor and how and when we have to use those interceptor. Okay, so interceptor basically uh, it invokes before HTTP call and after HTTP call so we can write our own business logic to make it happens like if we want to add some token and uh, some content type or uh, need to add some other uh, properties to the HTTP header to call the web API service to get the response so in, in this scenario we can use the http interceptor so we will write some common code where each and every http request those parameters should be added automatically or we can say in other words so when we get the response or in that response it might be uh, error or might be successful so if error comes then automatically error logged will be uh, logged in our local system or we can send those error to the web api okay so okay then let's get started so first we need i will create one service and which will implement http interceptor so for that i will open the console Okay, I will stop my project now I have created one folder that is called interceptors I will go to that folder so C slash app slash inter interceptors okay now I will create one service ngg as for service then let's say i i will call it as app http interceptor okay so it will create one service here it is created one service so by default uh, it has been added uh, that provided in property to the root that means it will add in the app module directly means it will register so here uh, then we no need to add this service in the provider section so i will uh, do it in manually so that's why i remove that and now you can say next step is we need to implement one interface that is called HTTP interceptor this interface we need to implement to make this uh, service as an interceptor so I will inject that I'll import and then we have to implement so here implement we can check here interceptor it is being implemented now you, you can remove this here from and you can re-import it and and I don't want this extra lengthy uh, character to be here so that's why I removed okay now from here also I will remove this and I will attach it okay now by default you can check that interceptor this uh, method should have two parameters that is request and the next so request so if you call any http uh, service like get post delete or put then each and every request should have a request uh, options i mean to say that header so those request object will come before uh, posting any data or fetch any data to the service then we can customize those requests over here so my uh, intention to add 
the base url along with the relative url so whenever we call the http method that time we will pass only the relative url so whole the application should have one base api url so for that one i added here environment file so you can check the environments folder inside the app so here you can check uh, environments so there only we will keep the base url so for timing i use this uh, api base url for testing purpose so you can also try at least uh, for testing purpose only here it is mentioned to fetch the user list to single user list if you want to create some uh, user here you can create here register or create over here so you can test it so now i will recommend you to use this uh, service for testing purpose only now this is my base url and i will take that base url from environment file so okay i will write one constant variable that is called uh, you can say absolute url okay now in environment that global variable dot will have the base url okay now i will add whatever uh, request url is coming that rq request dot here also you can check the url so this url nothing but a relative url okay i will show you how do we pass the relative url here now i am forming a absolute path so base url plus relative url will form as an absolute url so now it i will override that request here request dot clone so i will clone the request here we can type so see a url parameter also is there so i will write url now i'll put my absolute path over here now next is so here next handler is there so next dot handle i will put my request whatever i have overridden okay now whatever request is coming it will override and uh, i will add it will add the uh, absolute path and it will handle the next request i mean so now it is ready to post or ready to call the web api now here what is that here it is showing function whose declared type neither void or any must return a value okay okay now it should return now next step to add this class or service in the app module level so how do we register that so here sorry here we can when we register this service we should inform to uh, angular that this class or this service should act as an interceptor so by that one only we have to use so we have to provide some http interceptor token so this is from angular core part and we have to provide that class huge class that class would be like our custom class http interceptor okay i will run the application by using ng serve project has been compiled now i will open the browser now we refresh the page now we can check the response is coming or not here actually 
response is coming and header you can check uh, https requeries.in slash api slash user so my base url is this and relative url is this so now i can show you so for time being i have created one uh, service that is called http helper service and this service actually responsible to call the api so this is custom service here i created one http configs and this configs actually uh, the content type header is the content type because if you go to that uh, api service documentation here it is written to call the uh, api you have to provide the content type as application slash json so if you provide any uh, other than uh, the application slash json then it will throw one uh, error now i will show you how it works in the browser console okay so open the browser here i'm going to the http interceptor so here i will put one debugger now if i go to the http helper service so i will put one debugger over here now i will refresh the page so here you can check i am passing the relative url from the app component so here this is the relative url and here in my configuration is undefined that is mean i am not providing so if i am not provide the configuration then the default configuration it will take so here uh, the default configuration i already provided this okay now i will continue the debugging now it will come to that place http interceptor okay now here you can check the base url here and the relative url this now i'll combining the base url and relative url to make it absolute url and which is required to call the web api and here i am require that request object i am actually overriding so now if i continue then you can check or you can type it over here request so what are the things now it is uh, formed that url with absolute url and this is just a method is get with credential as false i am not passing any credential that's why it is it become false now if you continue then okay if you go to the network or you can check it in the helper service here you can put one debugger over here now if you check the response is coming not here yeah the response is coming properly that means my http client and http service and interceptor both are working okay so that's all uh, for the day so now try by yourself if you have any queries please don't forget to leave a message in the comment section below thanks for listening have a great day